Hi guys, it's Lynn again with Littlefoot Nursery. And I am here with silicone baby Isla. She is the Emery May sculpt by Andrea Arcello. My last video, I did a video with her twin, Melina. And, um, oh, and you guys <laughs> who've been watching my channel know this, but I have two of each kind. I don't know why I have so many doubles, but I just, I don't know, I can't get myself, I can't bring myself to, <laughs> to get rid of them or anything like that. But, um, but anyway, she is um, twins with my silicone baby, Olivia, but I haven't done one with Isla in a while, mainly because she's a little bit more tucked away um, in the closet. And, um, and she actually has the uh, ball jointed neck, so she is not poured to one piece. So, but the cool thing is her neck can turn from side to side. But oh my gosh, this baby is just incredible. I just, I love awake babies too. And she's like, this is a portrait of my daughter, Audrey, as you guys know. So I feel like her hair is starting to thin out a little bit. I don't know if um, I need to like get her rerouted or something, but I like re really rarely handle her. I have not um, touched her in a while. So, and guys, I have a fun um, outfit to change her into. And I have a fun announcement too. We are actually going to be headed out to go to Hawaii um, pretty soon, probably within the next week. And look at this. I have this um, Disney Hawaii Hawaiian dress. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Look at that. And then, um, and these um, rompers. And I don't know if I'll vlog the Hawaii trip at all. I, I might not. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. But um, we are going to be seeing um, our in-laws, my, um, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. And, um, and so we're really looking forward to that. But um, anyway, yeah. I don't know if you guys are planning on doing any vacations or anything like that, but I thought it might be fun to kind of make a, a video. And I've done videos like this, but you know, tips on traveling with your reborns or silicones. And I will caveat that by saying I am not planning to take any dolls with me on this trip. So that may be also another reason I don't vlog. It would be kind of different if I was bringing a baby. But I, um, you know, we're staying with other family members who are, like, not into dolls at all. So I think it would be a little bit weird for me to bring um, bring a baby um, with me. And um, so, yeah. And I also, you know, when you have your hands full with, two kids who is just it's it can be kind of a lot to also bring a baby on top of that anyway she looks a little bit <laughs> sunk down but yeah let me go ahead and get her dressed um yeah so I would say in terms of um tips and advice on traveling I guess first of all you want to find something to carry the baby in um, I highly recommend a bassinet bag um, if you don't have one, and I'll show you what one looks like here in just a bit. Um, and, um, or, and it doesn't have to be a bassinet bag, you know, so Susan Gibbs makes these amazing bassinet bags, which I've acquired mostly through the Rose Doll Show. Sometimes she will list them for sale on Facebook, but then when you see her list them, you have to be like lightning fast <laughs> to snag one. Um, yeah, and, and she doesn't do custom orders or anything like that. They, her bags always sell out on the first day, probably with usually within hours um, of the show opening. At, and I'm talking about the Rose doll show. So, but I imagine it's a similar dynamic at other doll shows as well. Oh my gosh, how cute is she? Look how adorable, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pick her up. Oh my gosh. Oh, she looks like a Hawaiian princess. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm so so lucky to have her oh I feel so lucky okay anyway this dress feels kind of big actually you know I'm gonna cut off this tag because this is really bugging me that it's sticking out like this so please excuse me <laughs> while I trim off this tag okay okay cool um all right yeah, that looks much better. So yeah, so you want to have something to carry the doll in. Um, let me see if I can grab, okay, I happen to have, this is a smaller version of a bassinet bag, but this is a bag um, that Susan made and you can see inside is a baby and I have one wrapped in a blanket there. So, so um, if you have some kind of a bag, what I like to do is I like to wrap the baby in a swaddle blanket 
and just so the baby is fully covered and then put it in the bag. Um, silicones usually have no issues going through security. You will definitely get some funny looks from security. So another thing I really recommend because they will, um, you cannot care. I don't think you are allowed to carry these dolls just in a baby carrier and walk through um, you, the scanner. You need to put them through the conveyor belt. So I would put the baby in the bass in the bassinet bag on its own, you know, little tray thing. Okay. And then put a note on the top to say, this is a very realistic, expensive, uh, expensive um, uh, doll. Um, please handle with care. And, and I'd like to kind of put the word expensive in there because just so they know not to like, because I had a bad experience and I have this video where I remember taking, it was a, it was a doll, thankfully it was a doll that I painted. So it wasn't like I had paid hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on that doll. But, but my gosh, the security person, like, I don't know if she, she was very, very rough and like shaking the doll and stuff like that. And, but I did not put a sign like that on that doll. So she was probably treating it like just kind of a toy baby doll. Um, and sometimes they can be suspicious because it's like, it's like, why are you like a grown woman traveling with the doll? So they, I think these TSA people, sometimes their radar goes up. So they are kind of like extra, um, sensitive about that. But, um, but anyway, that's what I would do. And then since I've started doing that as a rule of thumb on my reborns and my silicones, I haven't had an issue. If you are bringing more than one baby, you want to put each one on its own tray. So, and I know for like the Rose Doll Show, a lot of people like to bring multiple dolls with them. So, so that would be my advice just to make sure you have a note, make sure you have a good way to carry the baby. Um, you know, I think these dolls, these dolls are really, really heavy. So, um, so for me, a lot of times when I'm traveling, I have my kids with me and I have a stroller. Um, but if I were, uh, but I think I went to the Rose Doll Show um, and I didn't have a stroller. So I remember um, this was one time that, that one year that I went by myself. I did have a carry on bag, so that helped. So I could have the bassinet bag and kind of rest it on the carry on and then kind of pull it that way. And then you want to be super careful when you're going to the restroom and things like that. So, so honestly, sometimes I, um, you know, it, it is definitely a hassle to travel with the doll and you just want to be like extra careful. Um, definitely care, never, never check the doll and your luggage because you don't know how they're going to handle it. And even if you have a sign, they could take the doll out, mishandle it, be rough with it, and you wouldn't have any control over that. So always, always carry the doll on with you. It just may have to be one of your carry-on items. And I know that that's going to, but I would check everything else, like check your clothes and that sort of thing, but don't check your doll ever. Um, and then when you're on um, the plane, um, what I usually have done is, you know, I just have the bassinet bag. I use that as my under, um, under the, you know, under seat carry on. And then my little carry on luggage I'll put in the overhead compartment. And um, because you're not, you're only allowed two items, like one thing that you hold and one thing that's like a little bit bigger to go in the overhead. I, you know, basically use my bassinet bag as a purse too. So I'll put my wallet and my water bottle and, you know, keys and, you know, some other things that I need in there as well. You can use like a separate little pouch if you do, if you're worried about any of that stuff touching your doll. Um, that's what I've done. So, so I would do that so that that's basically acts as your purse essentially. And then, um, yeah, so that's how I've done it. And I've really mainly traveled with my babies when I've been going to a doll show. I have not, um, I have not traveled with a silicone except for when I brought, um, my Mia, who is my Ella by Jenny Lee, who I got at the Rose Doll Show 2019. When I brought her home, um, oh no, no, I didn't get her in 2019. I got her in 2018. Yes. So when I brought her home, I, um, that was the time that I had to kind of travel with the silicone, but that was the only time I, I, I really rarely travel with my babies in general. And, um, and, uh, so yeah, anyway, so that, that was, that was the, the reason, but anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, for those of you guys who are like now starting to get out and, and I know for us, we're super excited about Hawaii and we have like other vacations planned. Um, I'm, I'm like been in like full on vacation planning mode. So just having so much fun with it and just so looking forward to some degree of normalcy. And it's been a really rough year for everyone. So I hope you guys can all take the time that you need and, 
um, go take a vacation, go somewhere if you feel comfortable. I, I know we're all still kind of at different levels of comfort. I know for us, my kids are not vaccinated, but they are, um, uh, I will get them vaccinated as soon as they're eligible. They're both under the age of 12, but uh, they are, I, I feel in a lower risk category where if they catch it, it's kind of likely to just feel like a cold or you know something more normal. And so, um, so anyway, that's, um, so, so we feel okay, you know, um, going ahead and starting traveling again. And of course we'll be masked and things like that on the planes, but, um, but yeah, but for me, you know, because also just with this whole COVID time, that's another reason I'm not really traveling right now is like, I don't want to be like having like sanitizer on my hands all the time and, and just having, and I don't want to get germs on my dolls. I, I just don't like, that's, that's something I genuinely am concerned about. So Anyway, that's my perspective. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you, if there are any other travel tips that you guys have when you travel with your babies, leave a comment below. And um, I was gonna say goodbye to you guys. Take care, have a great day.